How are you going? Perhaps I should rephrase that to something like this. How are you really going? We've been on an interesting journey over the last couple of months. Our world is quite different from anything that we could have imagined as the calendar turned the page into 2020. COVID-19 has changed our lives and the world lots. For many of us, life is not all that much different though. We are the people who spend a lot of time at home anyway. For others, the social isolation has been just a bit too much. We need people in our lives. We need the touch of humans. We need the handshakes, the hugs. We need that warm and friendly smile. We need that slow cup of coffee with a friend. Of course, we like getting out into the sunlight and fresh air. Many have been wondering if we'll ever get back to normal. We're encouraged by some of the news that the restrictions may be eased soon. That is encouraging. Well, as for me, I don't want to waste this time of opportunity that we have before us just at this moment. You see, my office, where I do my work, has been overrun with outdated papers and documents from years gone by. It needed some attention. It's true. Oh, it still functioned, functioned quite well. But it was not a place where I could feel comfortable having guests walk into. Even now, it still needs a lot of work. So over the past few days, when I haven't been doing other things, I've been going through drawers and cupboards and looking at what I could clean out. Now, some of those old papers had me visiting Memory Lane. You probably know what I'm talking about. I've found so many old things that I've completely forgotten about. Oh, it's been an interesting journey. Some of what I'm finding brings back sadder memories, such as old photos of family members who are no longer alive. I sit and I reflect, but then I get on with the task of cleaning up. Actually, a lot of what I'm going through, I want to keep. Why? Well, I don't know. I don't want to let it go. I suppose that it represents the milestones of my life. But, you know, I need to be ruthless, as an old neighbour of mine used to say. Why? Because I could put it back in the drawer where it wouldn't surface perhaps another 20 years when my family will need to deal with it. But ultimately, it has to be dealt with. While I was in bed last night, I was reflecting upon this and upon my desire to draw closer to Jesus when a song was quickened to my mind. Now, it didn't break out in music, certainly not at 2.30 in the morning, but it kept swirling around in my mind. Search me, O God, and know my heart today. Try me, O Saviour. Know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. These words come straight to us from Psalm 139. Love you to read Psalm 139. It is worth reading. It's been described as one of the grandest of all the Psalms because it brings us face to face with the majesty and the power of God. It immediately exalts God as being all-knowing and ever-present, and it reminds us that all of our life is in his hands. The Psalm is a prayer, and it brings us to a point where we can do nothing but ponder the greatness of God. And as we read verse 7, where David reflects, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. It brings us to a point of great reflection and a great truth. I'm reminded as I read that verse of that prophet known as Jonah, whom God called for a specific purpose. Now, Jonah didn't like the sound of that one little bit, going to a large and strange city. Not only that, but this city had a horrible reputation. They were people who would kill you as easily as they would look at you. It was said that there were bodies lined up on the street. Why would God want me to go to them, Jonah thought. So like many of us, Jonah went in the complete opposite direction. God said, go east. He went west. But you know, God wasn't finished with Jonah just yet. Jonah tried running away from God and we know that didn't work. He needed some social isolation in the belly of a large fish. He had to stop and think about where he stood with God. We must always remember that we cannot run and hide from God. It doesn't work. 
Could it be that God has called you to a task and you've been running? Have you needed this time of social isolation for reflection? Or could it be that, like me, you've needed to clean up a little bit during this forced time, this time out, this time of social isolation? Your life has gathered clutter over the years and is now in need of some attention. Or well, it's still going, still functioning, but there's a, it's looking a little bit untidy around the edges. Are there things which need to be brought out into the light so that they can be dealt with? Is there a part of you in need of a clean-up? Search me, O oh God, and know my heart today. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Now, I know this lockdown is dragging on a little, although we can now see those glimpses, as I said a moment ago, of some light beginning to shine. My message to you today is don't waste this amazing opportunity to reflect and to focus upon who you are, but more importantly, whose you are. Again, don't waste this opportunity. Use it to discover or to rediscover God's incredible love for you and his desire to have a relationship with you. There's a wonderful promise in James 4.8. It says this, draw close to God and he will draw close to you. So let us come out of this isolation with a new resolve to go into all of the world feeling better about ourselves because the stuff that we've been too busy to face before has now been dealt with. It's been done. Is there some rubbish in your life? It may take a little while to clean it out. There are possibly a number of layers that need to be attended to. But what a great time to start. Today. Bring it to Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. May God richly bless you as you continue to be faithful to him.